All right, boys, this is a very different kind of video. Uh, this video is basically to talk about Kazuki Takahashi. Um, if you haven't already heard the news or seen the articles or anything, the New York Times, Nintendo Life, and many other, um, I would say, mainstream gaming and news publications are reporting that Kazuki Takahashi has uh passed away at 60 years old um of course it is very sad you know it is a huge tragedy um to see someone pass away at such a very young age um many many more good years um could have been had but you know there's not a lot of information out in terms of like what happened um but you know as far as we know you know, he has passed away, and I guess that has been confirmed. Um, my thoughts on the situation, obviously, um, like I said, it's it's a tragedy. Um, I'm kind of looking here at this book, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Art. Um, this book was is full of illustrations from Takahashi, and I think that um, looking in this book and taking a look at the interviews and, you know, some of the artwork within this book, you can see a real passion for his creation. Um, I think that in this world, a lot of people don't get an opportunity to, uh, fully embrace, um, their passions to fully, uh, indulge in something that provides them joy and also joy to others. But, you know, Kazuki Takahashi was one of those people. He's one of those men who was able to do that. He was able to create something and it has become beloved. Um, in my, in terms of my like personal opinion, I can't really say what the future of the game will hold. I can't say what the future of the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise will hold. Um, I know that Kazuki Takahashi was, did take like a step down if that makes sense, from uh, working directly with Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to say around 2004-ish. Um, and then from there, he's had um, creative control and he's, you know, he's made um, different illustrations and he's contributed, but he hasn't been, um, you know, running the show. Um, so from my understanding, um, I'm not sure what will happen next, but I'm sure that the game will continue in some way, shape, or form. You know, right now there's, I want to say, maybe five versions of Yu-Gi-Oh! that are out there right now. Five versions of Yu-Gi-Oh!, which, if you really think about it, um, Takahashi created Yu-Gi-Oh!, you know, as a dark fantasy novel. But during the dark fantasy novel, the card game that they played in season zero so it became so popular that they actually created a real card game. And the card game at the time was loosely based on magic and other uh, card games that people would play. So I find that to be very interesting that, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, the trading card game is almost like a side product. Um, but, you know, once Takahashi kind of got the wind of underneath his wings, he created something very special. Um, it's something that has been prolific throughout these, I don't want to, I don't know, I, I guess I could say prolific of these 30 years of mine. Um, you know, <laughs> Yukio has been around, you know, pretty much my entire life. And um, to say that Takahashi had an effect on me or an effect on what I do and my passion for Yu-Gi-Oh, um, that, that, that would be the smallest possible um, uh, acknowledgement I could give. So I want to thank Takahashi for his art. And I want to, uh, wish him a good rest.